Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today we're going to make vintage style CD envelopes with a tag. But first let's have our shout out to Marie, Leanne, Diane, Joyce, Chani, Carrie, June, Julie, Rochelle, Anita, and Titina. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, I have coffee dyed some CD envelopes. So I have them right here. And I have already inked this one all the way around. So the next thing I want to do is I have cut myself a just a piece of scrap paper. And I've cut it. It's not a perfect circle by any stretch of the imagination, but I've been using it to cover up my little window here. So let's go ahead and let's just place it right over our window. Let's bring in our paragraph stamp. I do believe this is still available. Um, I bought mine at the local craft shop. It's Stamp Abilities 209-2009 Faded Text Background. That's what it's called. And I'm just going to put some ink on my stamp, but I'm not just going to make sure it's everywhere. I'm just putting it here and there. Okay, and I'm just going to stamp the front of my envelope just like this. Oh, that turned out nice. Now I do want a little bit more right here. Yeah. I have made a couple of these so I can show you what they look like. They're similar. But different if you know what I mean <laughs> similar similar but different all right I like that that's looking really nice now I'm going to turn it over this way now I want this to have the words to be going downward so I'm just going to stamp this one next the flap it went didn't get all of it yeah, that's much better. So I've got the flap. Now what I want to do is I need to wipe, well I need to wipe that up a little bit, but maybe it will dry enough. It won't bother me. I think I've turned it. I need to make sure this is right way. Goodness gracious. Going the right way. And I'm going to stamp the flap. Okay, and I'm going to stamp the bottom, the rest of the bottom. Oh yes, that's looking very nice. Now let's put this all back away over here. And let's go ahead and let's look at this. So now we've got it all nicely stamped. Now I want to cover up what's inside here for two reasons. I don't want it to be very so stark white. And I don't want this little flap right here to cause a problem like come open or catch on something or I just want that to stay in place. So I have cut myself a piece of coffee dyed cardstock and this should slip right inside in here just like that and close. Isn't that pretty? It's such a pretty color. So I'm going to just apply my glue right here onto the back. And yes, I it has a little print, but I'm not going to use that side. I'm going to use the other side. And I'm just going to take my Tombow glue and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in there, on there. And then I'm going to place it right back into my envelope and push it all the way down to the bottom. Or it grabs hold too much. <laughs> there we go. I've got that down. Now I've got some flaps that are coming up on my envelope here. I need to make sure I get these glued down. So let's check. I need to do it on all, all of the flaps here. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do is I think I want to cover up this flap. We talked about that. I'm just a second ago and I have some washi here and I'm just going to cover it up 
and I'm just going to cover it up right here. It's very pretty washy. I think that will be nice. And that's really all I need to do. And I'm just going to trim it right here. Just like this. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to get my other washi. I think I have some different washi right here. And I want to just reinforce this flap right here. So I'll find the end. Move this over to the side here. And let's go ahead and reinforce this flap. And that still looks very nice with the washi that's in the inside. So once again, I'm just going to trim. Now we pretty much have our envelope taken care of except for a little bit of decoration on the front, the vintage looking decoration on the front. So what do we want to go on the inside? What do we want to see in this window? Well, what I want to do is I want to take a very tiny little doily. And this doily is three inches. It's a tiny little thing. I just love it. And I'm just going to cut out the center of this doily. So let me get going here and let's cut the center out just like this going around. Getting this doily cut out. There we are. So now we look like this. Isn't that sweet? I think that's going to look adorable. But I want something else right inside of there. And I have some images from... What are these from? These are from digitalcollage.com. And they're Easter. They're Beatrice Potter, Peter Rabbit. And I would like to use this one right here with Peter Rabbit in Mr. McGregor's garden with the water can. And I'm going to just mount it right on here just like that. Just like this. I think that will be absolutely adorable. So. What I want to do is, I think the first thing to do is that I'm going to actually glue this down right here in the center of my doily, larger doily. Now this larger doily is four inches. Okay, and then I'm going to put my glue going around on the inside. I'm using my Tombow glue. You can use any glue that you like. And I'm going to go all the way around. And you know how doilies are. They've got the holes in them. So it's going to seep through. It's kind of a messy little job, but really, they're so sweet. I just love doilies. So there we go. Just like that. I'm just wiping the glue off my hands as I press it down to make sure it gets touching uh, on all, all of it. All of it is glued down. Now I'm going to take my little card here. So I came out of a paper pad and I just coffee dyed the back. And this is, oh, there's a lot of glue there. Let me get a wipe and wipe that up. So I got it all wiped up. My little card is about five inches by five inches. And I'm going to glue my doily right in the center of my card. So I'm just going to make sure it goes this way, I think. Let me make sure that this fits in here. It's looking a little larger than my other cards. Okay, it fits in there nicely. All righty. All right, so back to gluing it on. So I'm just going to take my combo glue and I'm just going to glue, glue in these little circles here where there's a solid spot and just kind of lay some glue around the edge even though there's so many holes. And I'm just going to see about getting this in the center the best I can just placing it down like this 
All right, now this is pretty wet and it's pretty sticky. So I'm just going to set this aside and I'm going to bring in one that's already dry, that it's already glued down. And I also, on this one, you know how I like to sew, I sewed around the edge with some black thread. So it's all ready to go inside of our CD envelope. There we are. Isn't that adorable? Now let's get to decorating this and making it a little shabbier. So I have some net, I have some lace, shabby dabby doo da bow, and I have a Tracy Fox label. And I thought that I would like to take these pieces of lace and I actually think I want to lay this down first and maybe how do I exactly want to do this I'm not sure exactly how I want to do it but maybe I think I want this to be up here like this but do I want this to be I think I want it to be part of this like something like that and I need to round this corner that's for sure I can't have such a straight edge so I'm going to kind of cut into it a little bit around the corners of my net I'm just going to get rid of that those pieces I just trimmed off and I'm going to get my fabric tack I hope I have enough left in here and I'm going to just glue this down right like this something like that and then I'm going to glue down there is a right and a wrong to this there well you know there is oh my glue is just a dripping all right let's get the glue onto here Glue is dripping something fierce. Trying to hurry so the glue. I think I was this way, wasn't I? I think so. I think I was that way. And then I'm going to get a little piece and maybe put it right down here. We've got this glue um, dripping all over. Add a little bit more glue over here. Yikes. Yikes, you guys. Yikes. Okay. And then, I'm going to wipe this glue off my finger. Let's do just a tiny bit more. Maybe right over here. Maybe something like that. Okay. This is a disaster on the glue gun. I mean, the glue, the fabric tack is just really yucky. Okay. And then I was probably not going to come out now that I've set it straight up. I have two that are just right at the end. You know how they get right at the end and when you turn it upside down, it just kind of pours out. Well, that's where I'm at right now. It's just kind of pouring out. Especially once you start squeezing it, once you've got it upside down for a while. Okay, back to our crafting. Hopefully, I've got enough glue on my finger. I can get this on here. Oh, that's very pretty. But I do need a little bit more glue right here, guys. Okay, that's enough of that. I can fix it if I need to in a little bit. Now I have got a shabby dabby doo dot bow, like I was saying, and I've got some more little pieces here. And I thought that I could maybe, I'm not sure which way I want this to go, 
maybe something like that. And then maybe this one can be right up here. Oh my goodness, I think that's looking great. Now, I am going to go ahead. This is, happens to be the back side. And I'm going to just, this, this pink right here came off a shirt. And I do believe I got that shirt at the thrift store. And I have just been trimming on this shirt. And I've really gotten a lot of use out of it. I'm going to have to use my hand to just push it down. Oh my goodness, I like that a lot. Now, I don't know if I want... I think I just want a little bit... It goes this way, I think. Just a little bit of lace right there. Okay. And then I was going to put a label on here, but now I'm just not too sure. I want it underneath. How would that look if I put this label right underneath? Not so good, huh? Right down there. Maybe right on top. I think it's going to have to be on top this time. So let's go ahead and add it right here. And then let's add... I was going to put a bow on here, but now... Okay, maybe right down there. Let's put this bow maybe like this. Okay. And I thought I had some little pearls. Let me bring in my, I think I want it, I don't think I want pink. Well, maybe I do. Maybe I want cream. I'm not sure what color we want for the center here, but that will really set it off nicely. Maybe I want, do I, no, I'm putting them on here to see. Which color, if I can get it turned over, which color I like best. Actually, I like them both. So, maybe if we put a cream one up here. I'm going to get this picked up. I feel like this video is going so slow, guys. I'm so sorry. And... Envelopes do take a while, you know, don't you think? I find that envelopes, decorating them and prepping them and doing all that, I just think it takes a while. I did want to tell you that I have restocked my Etsy shop. There is a journal over there. There are some floral clusters. And there are some more new ephemera bundles over in the Etsy shop. If anyone is interested, the link is down below in case you're interested in that. Oh my goodness, I'm thinking that's looking really pretty. I really like that. I guess, do I still want that white one up there? I think I do. I think I'm going to make sure I like that white one by putting a few more white ones right here. They're not white, they're cream. I'm calling them white and they're not white, they're cream cream colored. I think right here on this label, oh come on, turn over for me. Come on now. Okay. Now let's see what all this looks like, guys. We need to trim off a little bit. I'm not trimming it all the way close to the Totally, you know, not real, real close to the envelope. I think kind of having it stick out a little bit is part of its beauty. It's kind of shaving it off a little here. All right, let's have a look. Look how beautiful that turned out. And then when you take your journaling card out, well, let's see here. There it is trying to take the wrong thing out. It's still beautiful. It's still absolutely gorgeous. Now let me show you one of the other ones that I've made. I made this one. It looks like this. I put a little bit of a net on a pink 
paper clip right here and it doesn't really need it to hold it closed but I just thought I could show that in case anyone wanted to add an altered paper clip and then there's this one and I put a cloth bow on this one isn't that bunny is so sweet and I put a little bit of edging I put something like this I've been having a hard time I've had this for years absolutely years but I thought it looked really pretty on that envelope and this is how this one looks on the back oh my goodness I think that looks great you guys I absolutely love this project I hope that you have enjoyed it too and if you have please give me a thumbs up I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video I'll see you there guys Bye now.